What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fresh commentary. Now guys, with Cyberpunk finally releasing next week, I wanted to go over the recommended and minimum specs you need to be able to actually run this game on PC. Because a lot of people aren't sure if they can actually run this game or want to be sure if they can run the game. So yeah, let's get started. Now for the minimum specs you need to actually be able to run this game at 1080p, 60fps, you're going to need to have an Intel i5-3570K or an AMD FX8310. I said it before and I'm gonna say it now, it's honestly cool how the FX series are still doing good in this generation of hardware. So yeah, props to AMD. But you also need 8 gigabytes of RAM, a GTX 790, or for AMD a RX 470. Basically, you need a 4 gigabyte GPU, and 70 gigabytes of space to install the game, which isn't really that much to be honest. And yeah, that's the minimum requirements for the game. It really surprised me because I expected it to be much, much more demanding. Like over 8 gigabytes of VRAM or a 6 core CPU or greater. But no, this game is great on the budget side of hardware so I'm expecting a lot of people to enjoy this game even though their PC might be a potato <laughs> but moving on to the recommended specs to be able to run this game at high not low like the minimum requirements you're going to need an Intel i7 4790 or a Ryzen 3 12 gigabytes of RAM and for the GPU side a 6 gigabyte GPU like the GTX 1060 or the RX 590 now for the high settings requirement to run at a resolution of 1440p at ultra settings you're going to need an Intel i7 4 3790, just like the last requirements I mentioned, and the Ryzen 5 3600, a 8GB GPU like the RTX 2080 or the RX 6800. Again, still on the budget side despite the more demanding GPU requirements at ultra settings, but yeah, overall just great. Now, moving on to the RTX requirements for the game, or the ray tracing requirements I should say, to run ray tracing at medium at 1080p, the minimum requirements are an Intel i7 4790 or an AMD Ryzen 3 3200, basically a Four core CPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM, a RTX 2060 of course, and 70 gigabytes of space to be able to install the game. Which, if I didn't clarify before, that's the only amount you need to install the game, no matter what specs you use. The high spec requirements for ray tracing at 1440p at ray tracing ultra is the i7 6700 and the Ryzen 5 3600, 16 gigabytes of RAM and the RTX 3070, which at the moment I don't think anyone owns. But hopefully they do restock soon because. I've been patiently waiting for the 3000 series to get back into stock and it's been months now but I guess I'll just stick with my 2060 for now and just patiently wait now finally the requirements for the highest possible graphical setting on the game ultra ray tracing at a resolution of 2160p what you're going to need is an Intel Core i7 6700 or for AMD a Ryzen 5 3600 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 10 gigabyte GPU which of course is the RTX 3080 which of course again isn't in stock but if you happen to actually own one then enjoy it because this game isn't really that demanding on the hardware side in my opinion compared to other games I know that require you to have like an 8 core CPU to run the game at ultra actually if you have like an 8 core CPU like the I don't know the Ryzen 7 you're going to be able to run this game perfectly but this game is going to look absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to play it on December 9th even though I can't run ray tracing at a super high setting I'll still give it a shot on my 2060. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If this helped you out or if you just enjoyed hearing me talk about PC parts, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I post videos like this every day 1pm ET. Also, comment down if you need help. Like if you're still not sure if you're able to run this game, you can list out your specs and I'll be sure to try my best to help you. I do after all read and reply to every comment, so just let me know. Follow my socials like my Twitter and Instagram, all links in the description. As well as please consider following my Twitch. I do intend to stream this game on and release, so yeah, hope to see you there. I apologize for the background noise time to time, but there's a lot of planes that fly over where I live, so it's kind of annoying. As well as maybe I pronounced some things wrong in this video. I just got my braces off like literally a few hours ago. So yeah, I'm trying to get used to talking without them again. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.